The normal amount of protein in your urine is up to 150 milligrams per day. 30 milligrams of this is albumin, and the remaining are hormones and peptides. Your doctor may first notice protein in your urine on a simple urine sample. And if you do have protein in your urine on the urine sample, you already have abnormal amounts in your urine. There's two ways to quantify it. One is by a spot sample of urine, and the other is a 24-hour collection. Protein in the urine can be benign and transient, which means it's nothing. This can happen after a fever, after an extreme illness, or sometimes even after exercise. The most important protein for us to consider is called albumin. Albumin is a large protein produced in our liver that typically doesn't get through the kidney filter. If we have damage to the kidney, such as in cases of inflammation, albumin leaks out into the urine. And remember, albumin is like the glue that keeps water inside the blood vessels. So if we're leaking large amounts of albumin in the urine, then we get swelling of our legs, puffy eyes, a puffy face, and even sometimes shortness of breath because water accumulates in our lungs. There's another syndrome called nephrotic syndrome. In nephrotic syndrome, we leak out over 3,500 milligrams of this protein albumin into the urine. Patients with nephrotic syndrome will often complain of puffy eyes, a swollen face, swollen legs, and they even have high cholesterol levels. Patients with nephrotic syndrome frequently require a kidney biopsy to, to determine the cause. Why is protein in the urine so important? One, it helps us with a treatment target. Two, patients with protein in the urine are at higher risk for cardiovascular disease. And three, it helps us identify early kidney disease. Patients may have protein in the urine even before their blood creatinine level goes up.